Philippine Navy PN flag officer in command Vice Admiral Adelius Bordado on Tuesday said plans are afoot to acquire more anti-submarine helicopters to partner with their incoming major surface naval assets. Bordado made this comment when asked by reporters if the Navy plans to acquire more anti-submarine helicopters for the two incoming corvettes from South Hyundai Heavy Industries. There are plans actually to acquire more because we only have two anti-submarine helicopters, so of course, the ideal is to have one on each, so these anti-submarine helicopter capable ships will be four in the near future, so we need two more. Our two new incoming ships are a lot bigger than FF-150 and FF-151, so there are plans to acquire more anti-submarine helicopters because the ideal ratio is one ship, one helicopter, he said on the sidelines of the christening rites for the Navy's first two fast attack interdiction craft missiles, FAIGMAS, the BRP Nestor Acero PG-901 and BRP Lolonato Torong PG-902. The steel cutting for the two corvettes is expected to start in the last quarter of this year. As of this time, the PN has two Augusta Westland Wildcat, or 159 anti-submarine helicopters which are assigned to BRP Jose Rizal and BRP Antonio Luna. These helicopters arrived in May 2019 and were commissioned in June that year. The contract for the helicopter's munition, mission essential equipment, and integrated logistic support is worth 5.4 billion Philippine pesos. The helicopters can be armed with rockets, machine guns, missiles, torpedoes, and depth charges and fitted with modern sonar systems for tracking down submarines. Meanwhile, Bordado said the two newly acquired FAIGMAS from Israel are designed to enhance the PN's capability in addressing threats to the archipelago. As we are all aware, the Philippine geographic configuration is characterized by its proximity to regional major sea lanes and contested waters in its complex archipelagic and porous nature. This archipelagic nature of the country presents both opportunities and challenges to our maritime security, he added. Bordado said the two Israeli-made vessels are designed to protect Philippine maritime interests in a rapid and precise manner. In short, accurate, high-performance and quick intercept capability against current and emerging maritime threats, he added. The PN's first two FAIGMAS were loaded aboard a cargo ship and departed Haifa, Israel in late August. These vessels were formally launched last June 26. Three more vessels are scheduled to be delivered starting this year while the remaining four units will be constructed at the PN shipyard in Naval Station Pascual Ledesma in Cavite City. These 32-meter high-speed vessels are equipped with quick interceptability, remote stabilized weapons, and short-range missiles that are capable to deliver precision strikes against larger hostiles and high-value targets on land and sea. Four of the FAIGMAS will be armed with non-line-of-sight missiles with pinpoint accuracy and a range of 25 km while the other four will be armed with machine guns and light automatic cannons. Once deliveries of the FAIGMAS are completed, these vessels can interdict surface threats and launch non-line-of-sight missiles safely using the surrounding littoral areas as maneuver space and cover.